Hello viewers, today we continue with our studies on E. Please, if you have not watched my videos on the numerical value of E, as well as my video on factorial, please do so, else you may not understand this very video. Well, my name is Delhots, my name is QMP. E proof. In this video, I'm going to prove to you how we came by a numerical value of E. This is the formula of E. E is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared out of 2 factorial plus x cubed out of 3 factorial plus x 4 out of 4 factorial plus x to the power 5 out of 5 factorial plus x to the power 6 out of 6 factorial plus and then and on and on and on and on to where you can end. Alright, there are certain things uh, about this equation that you need to understand very well. Now, in mathematics, any number we write is raised to the power 1. But normally we do not do that. We just write a number and then make it a child. For example, the number 2 should have been written as 2 raised to the power 1. But what we do, we normally write it as 2. 3 the same way, but we just write on 3. Well, this number e should have been e to the power 1. But normally we don't write it. So this e that we have, it is the same as this e raised to the power of 1. Yes. Now, with the formula of e, you realize that we have the variable x in it. What is x? x is simple. Now, e to the power 1 is equal to e to the power x. By simple analysis. If the bases are the equal. Then it tells us that the are also equal. So it tells us that x is equal to what? 1. Yes, so x is equal to 1. So we have x is equal to 1. So where we see x, what do you do? We just substitute it with what? 1. Well, let us continue. So it tells us that here now we have e is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 squared out of 2 factorial plus 1 cubed out of 3 factorial plus 1 to the 4th power by 4 factorial plus 1 to the 5th power by 5 factorial plus 1 to the 6th power by 6 factorial. And then you can continue on, 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 on to where you just wanted to go. Rich. That is the Z. Okay, now let us continue. Now, when you look at this critically, now you realize that 1 plus 1 is what? 2. Yes. So we have 2. Yes, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, now we can continue. Take note of this one also. With any number raised to another number, it tells us that we raise the number by the number of times we multiply the number by itself. So, for instance, having 1 to the power 2, it simply tells us that we have 1 times 1, and that is what we call 1 to the power of 2. Are you okay? Good. But there is something you have to take note of. Whenever you multiply 1 by itself, irrespective of the number of times you multiply 1 by itself, the result is always the same, and that is what 1. So it simply tells us that 1 times 1, which is 1 squared, is equal to 1, and then uh, 1 cubed is also 1, 1 to the power 4 is also what? 1. So we have to take note of that one also. So let us continue with proving how we came by our what? Value. Very good. So now we have E is equal to our 2 plus 1 out of 
2 factorial plus 1 out of 3 factorial plus 1 out of 4 factorial plus 1 out of 5 factorial plus 1 out of 6 factorial. Okay. And then we can continue on and on and on and on and on. on. Alright. Now let us continue. We realize that E is equal to 2 plus 1 out of 2 factorial. Now what is 2 factorial? It is very simple. From my previous video, I explained to you that 2 factorial happens to be 2 times 1. So 3 factorial is of 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. Now what is 2 times 1? 2. What is 3 times 2? 6 times 1. It's still what? 6. Okay. So it tells us that now we have 1 out of 2 plus 1 out of 6 plus 1 out of 4 factorial. That is 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. So 1 out of 24 and then plus on and on and on and on and on. I hope you are following. Very good. So now let us continue. Now in Mathematics, you already know that there are different ways by which we can write the same number. This is a fraction. And we can change this fraction into what? We can change this fraction into a decimal. How? We already know that whenever I have 1 out of 2, we can write it as 0 0.25. Yes, that is how to express a fraction into what? A decimal. Okay, now we already have our 2 here. Okay, fine. Now, let us do something here. Let us multiply all these three numbers, 1 out of 2, 1 out of 6, 1 out of 24. Check it out. Now we have 1 out of 2 plus 1 out of 6. So, 1 out of 2 plus 1 out of 6. That gives us all. Yeah, 6 plus 2 out of what? 12. And that gives us what? Um, 8 out of what? 12. So, 4 goes into this one, 2 goes into this one, 3. So now we have 2 out of 3. Good. So it means that um, 1 out of 2 plus 1 out of 6 gives us what? 2 out of 3. Very good. So we can do something like this. So that we have. 2 out of 3. And we are going to add this 2 out of 3 and then 1 out of 24. Good. So now what do we have? We have 2 out of 3 plus 1 out of 24. Yes. 1 out of 24. So how do we do it? Now let us count the multiples of 3. Whether we are going to have 24. Now we know that 3, 7 is 21, so 3, 8 is of 24. Okay, so you multiply both the numerator and then the denominator by what? 8. So 2, 8 happens to be what? 2, 8, yeah, 2, 8 is 16. And um, 3, you know, we are using the number 3. So 3 times 2 will give us let us check and go. Please, we have 2 out of 3 and then 1 out of 24. Now, 3 times 8 gives us 24. It means that we are going to multiply both the numerator and then the denominator by 8. So, 2 times 8 gives us 16. And then 3 times 8 gives us 24. 1 out of 24. So now we have a common denominator. So what do we do? We just bring our 24. That is 2, 4. And then 16 plus 1 also gives us 17. But what is the numerical value of this 17 out of 24? Let us use the long division method to solve for that. Okay, so now we have 17 out of 24. That gives us 24 the root of 17. There is no way you can multiply 24 by a number to get 17. So what we do, we bring our 0 and then point and then we bring our 0 here. Yes. Now let's count. Here, by the multiples of 24, we can say that 24 times 7 will give us a number near 170. Let's check it out. So here we have 24 and then 7. 7 times 4 gives us so 28. So we carry 2. 7 to 14. 
So let's add our 2. So give me a 16, 168. So it tells us that when we have the 7 here, we have 168. Yes, we can continue on and on and on and on and on. So it tells us that, oh, okay, we have our 2 here. Yes, so we have 2 plus 0 0.7 and then on and on and on and on and on. So it means that our E here happens to be 2 plus 0 0.7 plus on, on and on and on and on. So this tells us that our E happens to be 2.7 and then plus on and on and on and on. And that is how we came by E is equal to 2.718281818 on and on and on and on. Yes, I am done with the proving of what our numerical value of our what E. Very good. In my next presentation, I'm going to explain to you some of the uses of this numerical value. Thank you.